back on Howard Jones again. That's the first thing. I think that's pretty awesome that we were able to get the field done and just kind of revamp the atmosphere here. I thought it was, it was a great atmosphere for our first practice. I thought um, it's great having the fans out. Um, I thought our players really played with a real sense of enthusiasm, excitement, intensity, competitiveness. I thought there was a great deal of competitiveness all day. Um, it was fun to see a lot of our new players. Um, it was hard to see them all. <laughs> There's a lot of them going at, going at one time and at different times. So um, kind of really excited to go look at the film. But um, for a day one practice, I thought all in all, there was a lot of positives. Um, you know, the defense to be able to create some turnovers, which has been a huge uh, emphasis of us, of ours, coming into this season of how can we create more turnovers. You know, our offense was really good a year ago. We only turned the ball over 12 times offensively, um, but we only created 23 turnovers, and we want to get into the 30s. I think when you look at the elite teams in college football, they're turning the ball over defensively. So for our defense to create some turnovers today was a really good thing, and uh, we're excited about that. Um, you know, I just think all in all, for day one, we didn't have a bunch of busts and bad snaps and guys jumping off sides. I thought all in all is a relatively clean first practice. Um, and the challenge, as I told the team, is we got to come back with that same energy or better energy tomorrow. And execution's got to improve tomorrow. And we have to continue to get better day in and day out. And so um, that's one of the key components to it all. Um, but, but all in all, I was, I was very pleased. A lot of injured guys back, Steve. Anybody? Yeah. Kind of, you, see, you saw that. Boy, he's looking good. Well, Jabari felt like he was very active today, mm -hmm. you know, coming back. You know, it was a year ago when, when he got injured. And he seemed really active. I thought, again, Lamar just kind of continued from, sure. from spring. Um, you know, it was good to have Kenny Bigelow back on the D-line. Jordan Simmons was on the D-line. I mean, so there, there's some a lot more big bodies, it feels like. Um, but those guys, I think, defensively really kind of just stood out. It's good to have Chad Wheeler back, you know. I mean, he, he's probably on the shortest rehab of all of them. You know, he did his injury kind of the latest. Um, so it's good to have him back working. We tried to limit his load some. Um, but, but all in all, he, he looked pretty good. And Antoine looked just normal, you know, even after the, the pec injury there before the bowl game. So, um, like I said, there was a lot of stuff happening. You know, when you look at our new players and then you look at the injured guys that are coming back, there was a, there was a lot of guys to look at and to watch. It was hard to get done all at once. So I was trying to look at the, the big picture of it all, but you do notice some of the individuals. And now I get a chance to go watch the film, and I'll probably watch it <laughs> numerous times to, to see everything. And that, that's one of the big challenges. Uh, Tyler Petit. I, mean, to, I know you guys are asking me what freshman stood out. I thought Tyler Petit made a couple really cool catches over the middle. Uh, he's got a, a nice catching radius, a good feel. Um, I thought the, the young backs all look pretty good. You know, that, that they've got a feel. It's tough to run the ball when you're just in helmets, but I thought all in all that they showed a real sense of burst. Dominic Davis, Ronald Jones, real speed guys. Uh, I thought Sam Darnold for his first college practice um, was really effective. Um, and again, Jacob Daniel, some of the big D linemen, those guys, some of the linebackers, um, th those guys were pretty physical players. So we got a lot to build on. It's day one, like I said, but uh, all in all, it was a good day. Steve, what's uh, Jalen Cope Fitzpatrick? He doesn't, he doesn't finish school until Tuesday, so we're still in summer school. We don't know if he'll be eligible or not yet. And he can't practice until? Uh, I, I mean, I guess he, I don't know. I, technically, maybe he could. I'm just trying to get the guy eligible. What does it mean for this team and for this program to have this depth now? I was just mentioning it to somebody here. I was walking over. It, it, it just feels so different. You know, it feels different. And it's not, not so much the, the depth is great, you know, but it's the quality of the depth, in my opinion. I mean, the numbers really haven't changed. We came to camp last year with 105 players. Um, but I think if you look at the quality of depth, if you look at the, 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 the quality of big people that we have, um, and then the athletes that we have, I mean, I, it's a real credit to our staff. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for those guys that the hard work that they put in in recruiting the, those the last few recruiting classes have, have paid off. You know that, that we've, we've, been, we've been working this thing the right way. We've been recruiting the type of players that we think fit our program uh, and the schemes that we would like to run, um, and just a real just kind of first sense, first feel from practice one 
it feels right that, that we're getting the right types of bodies we're getting the right types of competitors I mean the, the, the energy on the field today the competitiveness was probably the best that we've had since I've been here when you go to last spring to last fall to this past spring to now and um, I think guys realize you know there's a little different feel when you know the guy behind you if you don't perform can you might be better than you and that's the best thing you have for a program when you have that type of competition and when you have the type of competition when the guy that you line up across from you or that lines up across from you that if that if you don't perform and if you don't execute on that play that that guy's going to beat you and I, that's the best driving force we could have and we're, we're in the infancy stages of developing that but it showed today it was definitely evident do you have 105 how many guys are here in camp well, we technically have 107. We have two guys that are injured um, that we brought to camp that, that we're rehabbing, but 105 get to participate. How many plays did you run? Did you keep the number? Oh, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but, but we ran ran quite a few. We ran quite a few. And But what was great about it, you know, Dan, our threes almost got as many reps as our ones. And, and that... To me, that's what the first two weeks of training camp is about. It's about getting everybody quality reps. That's how your team develops and gets better. And obviously, some of those guys are whether you're on the third or second team. Some of those guys are going to end up on scout team or service team. But that's going to make them more prepared for scout team and service team. That they've competed at a really high level. We mixed in all of our young guys with the ones at some point throughout the day. Everybody got their shot to play with the ones. Everybody got that feel. Um, so that, that that's. And for the next two weeks, that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm kind of, kind of excited about it. I think the other thing I want to touch on, because I know I'm going to get asked at some point. You know, say Adori was solely on defense. Um, we're going to keep Adori on defense for the first 11 practices. We're going to get all of the defense installed with him, um, and then we're going to flip him to offense for about the next six practices. And then once we get through that those first two weeks, then then he's just going to have to do what he did last year where in practice he's going to kind of flip back and forth. But to be fair to him, we want to give him all of the defense, then give him a good chunk of the offense, and then we'll then we'll bounce it back and forth. So. He told us that. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Guess you told it's good me to hear from the second story. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're not lying. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? Good. Alrighty, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.